Hello and welcome to another hacking video in my lab. My name's Ed, and this is just a branch off from the hacking video that I released where I was able to grab the hashes from a spoof email or an email from a POC, and we had the user's credentials. I wanted to show you how easy it is to run the secret dump with that user that is actually a low privileged user. So in this example, you can see we're gonna be running Impacket uh, Secret Stump uh, on Kali Linux. I've got the domain name, we're using user one and this IP, uh, take note this IP changes because it's in Azure. Uh, also just want to let you know that I have permission to do this. This lab belongs to me and it does get destroyed now and again. But just be aware that you cannot just go and do this against anybody's lab or, sorry, anybody's environment. And the repercussions of that would be that you could post jail time, etc. So if I run this now, it's going to ask me for the password. Now, from the previous video, we knew that the password was password123. And enter in the password, and you'll see that it's now connecting to the Exchange server and starting up the remote registry service and it's now going to start doing what it's meant to do dump out the hashes for us so just give it a couple of seconds it's not the fastest uh seems like um certain days in asia are slower than others and while we're waiting for this it should finish in a couple of seconds there we go okay so we can see that this account my account in this lab has uh, 500 which means it's admin and then there's the hash now obviously we can take this hash now and while this is still busy running and we can use impact it again but this time we can use wmi EXEC, and we specify the domain name. I had to add this to my host file because it doesn't recognize it. Then we specify the user at the IP and then the hash that we just grabbed from here. And then running this will obviously get us onto the box and then we can do further things. So if I was a bad actor and I was able to do this, you can see. I'm running this as a low privilege user there. User one is not privileged, doesn't have admin rights or anything in the domain, but I, was, I dumped the hashes. And you'll see it obviously is not gonna dump the administrator account and all that, but we do have an administrator account here because we can see it's classed as a 500. And that's what we're obviously looking for. We're looking for, you know, privilege. And once we obviously have now got access to this account and we run this command here, we'll obviously get onto the box and do whatever we need to do for the compromise in the domain. So just be aware that one attack can leverage into a second attack to doing things in, in, in a sense that the first one, we sent a malicious email, the user clicks on it, we grab the hashes, uh, we can obviously crack the hashes, get the passwords, and then we can do this and we can take this even further. So I just wanted to make you aware of um, how powerful it is if you have a little bit of information that you can get into a domain. If you enjoyed this video, like the other videos, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I thank you very much for watching.